advance payment is a specific amount of money that is paid from client to the contractor to cover initial expenses and will be covered in next interim permit certificates. The purpose of retention is to ensure that contractor properly completes the activities required them under the contract subject conditions. The yellow bars are amount of work according to the baseline. Based on baseline cost. As you followed in tracking section, I exported baseline unit into the Excel file. With the same procedure, we can export cost. But if you face any problems in exported numbers, just follow these steps. Open tracking. From profile settings, select cost. Then from time scale, days interval is year months. Make sure the project is selected, not WBS. Just double click on months. The total number of baseline project labor costs is needed. Just write it in Excel cells, like what I did here. Now, let's analyze this table. The third month of the project is March. BL cost is what we extracted from P6. Second row is advanced payment. Generally, because advanced payment is paid by the contractor a month before starting the project. So, we have another column, February column. 20% of total cost is paid. But every month, this 20% is deducted from baseline cost. And also, 5% of retention is deducted from baseline cost every month. When the taking over certificate is signed, half of the retention, which was deducted every month, is back to the contractor. And when the liability period, which is mentioned in the contract, finishes, the other half is paid. In this example, we suppose that the liability period is just three months. So, the other half of the retention is paid on December and finish. By knowing all these informations, easily we can get the real cash flow of each month.